But the Spaniard, his horse and his pig would never have been so successful in the conquest of the new world without a hidden passenger. It is when the old and new worlds touch that the American Indian meets his worst enemy, a very black dose for the continent. A Spanish missionary reports. An epidemic broke out, a sickness of pustules, large bumps spread on people. Some were entirely covered on the face, the head, the chest. They lay in their dwellings and sleeping places, no longer able to move or stir. The pustules caused great desolation. Very many people died of them and many starved to death. No one took care of others any longer. Deadly diseases contaminate the entire continent. For the natives, writes a chronicler, they are near all dead of the smallpox. So the Lord hath cleared our title to what we possess. To this day, scientists are still working to identify these diseases, to trace their paths and count the dead. Smallpox was accidentally introduced to the Americas in the 16th century. The smallpox virus is very hardy. In blankets that are used by smallpox victims, the scabs can live uh, for weeks carrying the virus. And smallpox can also pass from host to host on board a transatlantic vessel until it reaches the Americas. And of course, once smallpox reached the Americas, it was introduced to millions of new hosts, human hosts, who had no acquired immunities to these diseases. And so smallpox, together with measles and influenza, had a devastating impact on Native American populations. No one knows exactly what the mortality was. Conservative estimates are about 50%. It was probably closer to 90% or even higher. Through trade between Native peoples, diseases spread throughout the whole continent. Many Natives die of foreign diseases without ever seeing a European. Microbes move faster than the conquistadors who brought them. Some 50 years after Columbus discovered the Americas, conquistadors and explorers find neither towns nor people. No one stands in their way. Most of the people are dead, and nature reclaims the land. <laughs> 